Hello everyone, Legend of Eon here, and I have for you guys a budget Locust God EDH deck. So I bought this deck for $30, disclaimer. I did not buy the Locust God itself, or the basic lands. For one, I uh, was drafting, and I pulled the Locust God, so <laughs> that was really sweet. So, pretty much everything else in the deck is under like a, a dollar, pretty much. It's like a couple, couple cents here, a couple cents there, some... Only like three or two cards were like over a dollar. So without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. <laughs> so this card's really sweet because you're going to be drawing cards in your turn unless, you know, there are certain EDH deck players out there that will not let you draw cards. But otherwise, this card's really sweet. Whenever you draw a card, you create a 1-1 blue and red insect creature token with flying and haste. You pay four mana, draw a card, and it's a card card, so really nice in itself there. When this card dies, you can return it to the owner's hand. Oh, you have to return it, sorry. To the owner's hand at the beginning of the next end set. So whoever ends their turn, if they're if an opponent would destroy this, bring it back to your hand. Really nice. So the guys you're gonna be making these tokens right here. Pretty sweet. Crazy looking. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Alright, let's go to the lands. So the lands that I actually bought for the deck was the Swiftwater Cliffs. So remember, is this still on a budget? <laughs> is it Guildgate? Terramorphic Expense? Evolving Wilds? And that's pretty much it. For the basic lands, it's the 12 Mountains and 22 is Land Island. <laughs> so yeah, that's... Yeah, that's pretty much what I bought. The, the four lands. <laughs> I was already able to afford. Okay. And now on to the non-creature spells. So this deck's really, really fun. You just pretty much just make a whole bunch of just insect tokens and just attack. Because they have haste and flying. So just swinging for a bunch of damage. Really nice. This card. So some counter spells. Abjure. Sacrifice a blue permanent counter spell. Because this insect is a blue and red permanent, you can just sacrifice the token and just counter a spell. Really sweet. Really sweet. Is it charm? So you can counter target non-creature spell unless they pay two, or you can deal two damage to target creature, or you can loot. Drop two cards, discard two cards. Really nice. Arcane Denial, being able to draw cards. If you can counter something, your opponent will draw a card, and then you draw two cards. Oh no, I'm sorry. Your opponent draws two cards and you draw one card. <laughs> Read that backwards. The next up key. Yep. And yes, your opponent, you and your opponent can miss this trigger. So, counter spell. Countervailing wins because we're playing a bunch of stuff. We're gonna have lots of cards in our graveyard. Plus, later in the game, it's just really nice. <laughs> Unless they have infinite mana. What? Dream fracture. Counter dragon spell. Let's control our draws a card. Uh, sorry, counter target spell, it's controller draws a card and then you draw a card, so, you know, you want to draw cards. Cancel, just regular counter. Counter flex, really, really nice because you can pretty much, if your opponent's playing a whole bunch of spells in between, you know, like a turn or something, you can pay four mana and just counter all the spells. <laughs> really sweet, unless it's in counterable, but it's just really nice. Rewind, be able to untap uh, four lands, pretty much just pay it for itself if it resolves. Just must again draw cards. <laughs> so this card's really nice because you get to counter spell and then investigate, which uh, you pretty much make clue artifacts, which is really nice. You can pay two to sacrifice them, so you, have, you know, why not? Just being able to draw cards is nice. All right, on to some sorcery spells. This card's really nice because once you have the locust guard out and you're starting to draw cards and stuff. <laughs> You're gonna be making a whole bunch of insect tokens, so you can just tap those four insect tokens and you just draw three cards. So, really nice. Looting cards, and you can also play it for it to flashback, which is nice. This card's really nice too, because you can just start discarding your land, see if you start flooding a lot. So, cool. Draw three, discard three. <laughs> Sounds nice, but it's at the end of the turn, so do you have to worry about that? Divination. Council of Soratan. Soratan, yeah. <laughs> Compulsive research. Why not just discard a land? <laughs> Sounds good. This card's really nice because you can choose different things. You can escalate uh, one, so really cool. So you just pay an extra mana so you can 
target player discards all the cards in his hand and then draws that many cards to so pretty much just kind of do a little mini wheel effect on that. You can deal 4 damage to a creature or 3 damage to an opponent. Concentrate, just draw 3 cards for 4. Draw 3 cards, so all these cards are just going to be drawing cards because that's what we want with the Locust God. And we can attack the same turn. What? Sweetness. Then put a card from your hand to the bottom library. Nice. Draw 4. The Dell, because we're playing so much stuff, draw power and whatnot, we can just pretty much play this almost for one almost every time. Brainstorm, so this is card is really nice because you just draw. <laughs> just draw cards. <laughs> draw three cards and then put two back in any in, in order on top of your deck. Woo! This card is really nice. Cool wheel effect for two. Panic search. This is kind of just mainly searching for like counter spells and stuff so you know <laughs> careful consideration so not bad i mean it's, a, it's just an extra cantrip i guess <laughs> to draw cards thought flare kind of mini loot jesus ingenuity i wish we can play more of these so good <laughs> instant speed opportunity 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 blue suns with infinite mana just kills everyone Except your soul. <laughs> well, I guess you could get your soul. <laughs> Alright. So, other cantrips in the deck. So, return to the instant or sorcery card from your game with your hand. You can play it. And you can use this for your flashback. So, just bring something back again. Really nice. Some board wipes in the deck because we're playing EDH. And sometimes your opponents will have just crazy boards. So, this will do X damage to each creature without flying. If X is 4 or more, destroy all artifacts. If X is 8 or more, uh, put an 8 8 lizard creature onto the battlefield. So, really, really nice because you can just, you know, if, if your opponent's playing a bunch of artifacts, just get rid of artifacts. If X is 8 or more, you just put 8 8 red lizard. So, if you pay X, you can destroy all artifacts and get an 8 an 8, eight red lizard. <laughs> really cool. I think it's super cool. A really nice another board wipe is Earthquake. Does X damage to each creature and each non oh each player, sorry, and each non-flying creature in play. So all your one ones and stuff are all your one one flyers, these like little flying things, and your flying creatures are safe, pretty much. <laughs> if your opponents have flying creatures too, then oh well. <laughs> You'll have more than them. <laughs> so pretty much it's just a board wipe on the ground, which is really cool. And players. And players. Lightning strike, just a, <laughs> I guess, a removal spell. <laughs> Skull clamp. This card is really nice too because you just equip it to your insect creatures and just start drawing cards. <laughs> really good. It's a good combo with um, alt, alters, something, alter of the something. Uh, this one. Actually, not alter. <laughs> I think it's almost infinite. Is it signet? Is it Clue Stone? Ashnod's Altar. <laughs> Again, so this card was a couple dollars. Yeah, this card's really good though. Really, really good. Just those two cards and the Locust God is just pretty much almost infinite. <laughs> Impact Tremors. So the one that they didn't have was the Goblin Guide. Uh, no, not Goblin Guide. Uh, goblin Bombardment. That's what it was. <laughs> it's not Goblin Guide. <laughs> goblin Bombardment. They didn't have that, but this pretty much is the exact same thing as the other one. So it's really nice. Favorable wins, all your 1-1s are now 2-2s, pretty sweet, your insect tokens. Monastery Sage, mainly I mainly use this for the cons effect, being able to draw on loot cards, just to draw extra cards, why not? <laughs> Bite into Thassa, this card was actually super cheap, and I was like, yeah, I should get this card. So whenever a creature deals damage to a player, you may draw a card. So, really, really nice, so you have like 5 of those little insect guys out, you just attack, draw 5 cards, make more, like it's really nice. <laughs> All right, that was all for the non-creature spells. On to the creature spells. Almost done, almost done. <laughs> Whirlpool Rider. So those cards are really nice effect because with the Locust got out, being able to just do wheel effects are really nice because we just draw extra cards. <laughs> Whirlpool Rider, this card comes into play. Shuffle cards from your hand to the library, then draw out many cards. Really nice. Augur of Bolas, when this card enters the battlefield, with the top three cards of the library, you may reveal an instant or sorcery card from among them and put it into your hand, and the rest goes in the bottom of your library. Old Pool Warrior. 
When this card enters the battlefield, you shuffle the cards from your hand to the library and then draw that many cards. So again, just wheel effects. You can pay a red to sacrifice this, and each player does that. So now you just can just do it again, which is really cool for one red. Sweetness. So like, <laughs> say you had, you know, the Locust got out, right? And you had like six cards in hand. You... <laughs> You, you play this card, and you have five cards, right? And you draw five, you make five, and then you do this again. It's just like, oh, that's so good. Or you can also disrupt your opponent, too. Whirlpool Drake. This card does exactly the same thing, uh, but when this card is spent at the graveyard, so when this card dies, like, you know, chump block or something. So, yeah, really nice. Or you can attack to your opponent. Why not, too? <laughs> Pretty good. A Forgotten Creation. So, this card's really nice because... At the beginning of your upkeep, you just pretty much wheel every single upkeep. If you want to, you don't have to. So yeah. So you, but they do go into the graveyard. They don't shuffle back from the deck. All right. Nematic Wall. When this card enters the battlefield, you just search. You return a, an instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. Mole Drifter. Literally cool. I like this card a lot. Dragon Drake. This card is an infinite combo with their navigator, of course. I had to glue this in the deck. That I was like about a couple dollars. No, I think it was like it was like two dollars or something. So these two cards are pretty much an infinite combo. Like once you get once you play these two, it's it's game over for your opponent. You're be able to create infinite mana or a bunch of mana and then just play this and then use its loot effect forever. <laughs> and then just play whatever good straw draw spells you loot off of. So yeah, really kind of busted. <laughs> Wind Rider, so this card is just a creature version of the Biden of Thassa. <laughs> it's just really cool whenever a creature you control attacks, so you, it doesn't have to deal damage, you just attack, you you just may draw that card. It's just really cool. So this card with the other one, start drawing a bunch of cards. <laughs> Alright, Goblin Electromancer, just makes every, all your instants and sorcery cost one less. Nivik Skill Mage, so you draw a card, there's card a card. For the other ability, I actually use it once uh, or twice. It's really good. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for that copy. So like a blue sun for like I don't know, like I don't know, eight or something, and then I did it again, so it just draws 16 cards. <laughs> it was really good. Hypersonic Dragon. Flying in haste. You may cast a sorcery spell as if they had flash. So pretty much all your sorcery cards are pretty much instants too. So really good. This card makes all your Insect token theme jiggers, freaking three threes. <laughs> so that's just so much damage. You have ten of these guys out, ten of these guys, and you're, you know, that's thirty damage. Like that's crazy. <laughs> also, you can pay four to put a blue or red creature card from your hand onto play. So being able to save itself, it's really nice. Now, look, is it a uh, paragon? Being able to play with your top card revealed, although you are sharing information, you're able to pretty much just copy that instant or sorcery if it is on top, and you just copy it. It's so good. Super good. niv Mizzet. It's like another win con, I guess, because if you can't attack or anything with your, with your creatures, you can just draw cards, and you just continue to draw cards and just deal damage to a player. So, yeah. Arjun, that's another really nice card, just being able to loot again, or not loot, sorry, uh, wheel effect. You, know, when you, you cast any spell, any spell, you just put the card from your hand upon your library in any order, and then you draw many cards. Really nice. And again, second close caller, if you can't attack, just draw your way out. <laughs> Alright, well, that is the deck for the Locust God. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's a budget build, but it's a super fun deck. So, uh, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to play fun decks in EDH. Alright, so this is the deck. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know in the comments below. Alright, bye guys!